Ron Mazza. Bob Learn starting match number two on lane 13. He had the choice, so he wants to finish on the right lane. Yes, he does. He told me the left lane was a little bit tougher. It's going to be the key to him winning tonight. And it looks like he's gone to throwing the ball straighter. He tried hooking the ball quite a bit in practice, and he also tried throwing a straighter. He's going with the straighter shot, a la Walter Ray Williams, Jr. Well, Walter had a good reaction. He bowled a great game, just wasn't good enough to beat this man right here. Well, when you shoot 240, you got a good chance to win anyway. You're going to win a good percentage of your matches. Eight strikes in the opening match. And starts right away with a strike here. What's that rumble I hear on the way down there? That could be hitting one of the either the thumb or one of the finger holes. Uh, you know, with these new these new bowling balls, when they roll down the lane, they actually start tracking in a in quite a unique mannerism. They don't track in the same spot on the ball all the way down. They would they do what we call flaring. Track so, flare. so this this track could be flaring over the thumb or the fingers. I'm not sure which. Doesn't seem to be hurting any. <laughs> not when it hits dead flush. Scott Mazza, bowled 246 the opening match, and four out of the five finalists tonight averaged 240 on this pair. We can see the <laughs> one guy that didn't, and he says, what am I doing here? And he's up right now. He only averaged a measly 211. And he knows what he's doing here. You know, that's just remarkable. I was talking with him earlier, and I, and I, I told him, I said, one of my problems is I never know whether to hook the ball or throw the ball straight. You can get to the pocket doing either. When do you make those decisions? How do you make those decisions? And uh, that's why I'm talking about it, and Bob Learn is showing us. Did you see that little look he gave us as he struck on that shot? Gave him a little look. Just to say, I'm here. Oh, yeah, he's a confident young man. And there's Stacy, his wife. And Brittany, the daughter. Well, Mazza behind for the first time in either match. Well, we'll see how he reacts to the pressure. Uh, he has a very good shot. I anticipate him going up there and throwing the ball in the pocket. It's just a matter of whether all 10 pins are going to cooperate and fall over. Well, they're both perfect through three. Trying to take the lead. Well, every shot is so important right now. Doesn't want to be the first one to miss. He isn't. And another beautiful, beautiful strike. He isn't. Well, this is a battle of the OK Corral. Which one's going to blink first? Yeah, and Bob Learn realizes he's in a unique position. This may be his one chance to be Bowler of the Year. And I think in order for him to do it, he's going to have to win this tournament and maybe another one or two afterwards. Nice reaction there. Five pin kind of bounced twice. Well, he's he's throwing that straighter shot. Left lane trying for five in a row. And if he gets it, we normally go to commercial pretty quick, but we'll stay with him as long as both are striking. <laughs> And we certainly put an end to that. That's like saying he hasn't missed a free throw, and bang, he bounces one off the rim. Mike, he just simply tugged that ball. He got it left of his target. It couldn't hold. He would have had to throw the ball extremely hard to make that ball hold. Uh, no split, though. But he got away with it just being an eight count. He's a good spare shooter. You'll notice his ball will probably bounce when he throws this. Over the thumb hole. Thud, thud. No problem. Bang, bang, and they both go down. Another nice tip for people watching at home that you don't have to hook it at those spares. Not only don't you have to hook it, but if you want to make it, you better not hook it. And he has learned how to throw the ball very straight for spares, as have all the great bowlers. As always, ESPN gives you all the scores at 28 and 58 past the hour. And the score with uh, John Mazza is perfect through five frames. And he's still holding his emotions in check. I would have thought by now John might be jumping around a little bit Running out there. Running about a little bit. Yeah, but he's, 
he is uh, showing a little bit of uh, veteran moxie right now. Six frame, working on five in a row. That new pre-shot routine gets that thumb set where he wants it. Doesn't fiddle with it then. Well, the pins aren't fiddling either. Oh, he is, he's very, very, very comfortable right now. He knows he's got the good shot. He's got the right ball in his hand. Normally, we go to a commercial break at this point in the match, but because John is Got perfect. We will stay with him. Bob Learn is our leading money winner. I asked him if he ever imagined he would have this kind of success. Actually, uh, you know, it's something that you dream about, but you never really know if you can fulfill it. And it's something that uh, I still kind of pinch myself every now and then and say, "Wow, did I really, did I really do it?" Because it's something, uh, you know, only a few guys get to that point, and I just feel real fortunate for being there. Sounds like a humble guy. He is. He's a good guy. He needs, needs a strike. You know, he, he pulled it again. He just is not trusting that lane. That's you just know. mental more than well, anything, isn't it? I, I'm sure it is. He said that it was the lane that would be the toughest to control, and now it's more or less controlling him. You know, in, uh, in Bob's last win, which was the flagship open in his hometown of Erie, he bowled four games, 48 frames, and struck 43 times for a record 282.25 average. <laughs> All right, here we see Bob Learn on the left-hand lane, and he gets down to the point of release, and he just pulls up on it. Didn't trust the ball. Mazza going for seven in a row. And speak of no trust, kind of an infectious disease there. Yeah. He, he didn't trust the ball. He didn't get good speed on the ball. And now he's he's risked himself uh, putting this match in jeopardy. He needs to make this spare. He's only got just a little more than a 20 pin lead right now. Hi, this is Mike Durbin along with Marshall Holman. We're in the uh, championship finals. Ambassador Bedford Lanes of the Cleveland Open in our opening match. John Mazza defeated Walter Ray Williams 246 to 228. We're in the eighth frame of our second match. 19 pins separating Mazza and Bob Learn with uh, Mazza up in the eighth frame right now. That was a big shot in the last frame. Not only did he lose his string of strikes, but he's down one pin and count. And that one pin could come back to haunt him later in the match. 